Have you heard of One Piece? No, not the manga by Eiichiro Oda that has been going on since 1997, making it older than Google. No, not the anime series that has been airing since 1999, making it older than every Zoomer in the audience. I mean the hot, fresh, and already confirmed for second season live action series on Netflix. Oh yeah! Now that Western media corporations are investing in the series, it's real art. Jokes aside, Mr. Eichiro's manga being so popular for so long makes him one of the greats. Its mix of action, comedy, and visuals give it the perfection I hope to capture when I give each member of the Straw Hat crew their own signature Pokemon. I also did something like this for My Hero Academia, if that's more your speed, but for now, anchors away. And with the kickoff, it's the only man able to hold the peak physical allure of Steve Buscemi's Mr. Pink, it's Sanji Blackleg Vinsmoke. Now while many would give the kick focus ship either the Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Top, or even one of the various food Pokemon such as Leak Wielding Farfetch'd, or the Candy Apple Diplin, but I've decided on Blaziken. Not only are the powerful drumsticks on this chicken able to clear 30 stories, but its fire type makes it incredibly helpful around the kitchen. Just don't make any fried chicken jokes around him, or you'll be reminded why the food isn't the only thing with a memorable kick. Up next is the man of many talents and even more alibis, Usopp. Liar, coward, inventor, sculptor, a good friend, and the enemy of state. I tried to think what partner could possibly be all these things, Perhaps Wishy Washy, the master of bluff, or even the illusionist Kecleon. No, the only Pokemon that could possibly be matched to the king of snipers is Pseudo Wudo. Now, while you might think I chose this pair just for the perfectly slingshot shaped horn on Pseudo Wudo, rest assured, it's also because its Japanese name, Usoki, uses the same Uso root as Uso. That root of course being used for Usoski or Liar, but more than that is this Pokemon's resourcefulness. It learns not only copycat but also mimic, allowing it to use moves from its opponent, allowing it to match beat for beat the rapid improvisation of Usopp's arsenal style of combat. Third on the list is Cat Burglar Nami, the money-loving navigator. While Nosepass is the living compass, I don't think it's her style. Purloin seems a good pick, but that's mainly what outsiders see her as. No, for her main, it'd be something that would not only help with her formidable navigational skills, but also mesh with her fighting style of Usopp made climb attack. Was that enough foreshadowing for you to guess cast form? Super sensitive to heat, pressure, and humidity. This little guy is one-stop shop for all the raw data a sailor could use to plan for the day's sailing. It's so sensitive in fact that the climb attack that are able to change local weather would allow cast form to change its form to better suit the opponent, especially by taking advantage of the type changing weather ball. On a less serious note, well, technically two of them, there is another element where they match. Did you know that among the Pokemon fandom, Cast Form is unofficially known as the Boobs Pokemon? Anyway, up next is a man with a nickname that is equal parts unimaginative and terrifying, it's Roronoa Pirate Hunter Zoro. Now, some of you might be thinking that I'll be giving him something in the Bishop or Scyther lines, but here's the thing, both of them are only Two. So I'll do everyone one better with Samurod. With one blade in each paw and a third on his head, I can already see them doing trainer Pokemon sparring matches. Another element to this is the typing. Just like Zoro and Sanji have their rivalry, their water and fire fighting partners square up over the littlest things. And now the captain, Monkey Straw Hat D. Luffy. What does the D stand for? What kind of family name is Monkey? And why is Dragon the only one without a cool hat? 
I'll leave these questions for Mr. Hro to answer. But I'll answer one of your questions today. I'm not giving Captain Monkey a monkey Pokemon. Garp, Dragon, and Luffy all having a monkey Pokemon of their shared family name is just too much. A signature Pokemon needs to represent the trainer, so to that end, I give Luffy a Breloom. Now hear me out. Breloom is a fighting type that is noted to use a punch-heavy super mobile style. While its reach is short, it uses its stretchy arm to gain extra reach, combining those techniques to whip punches blinding speed for the high priority mock punch. If that isn't a gum gum bullet, I don't know what is. And if that isn't enough, did you know that the straw hut is actually a mushroom? That's right, it's actually a Mastra hat. If you didn't know, now you know. And if you want to know more, go read the totally canon Chopperman manga. And that's my say in the Straw Hat Crew signature Pokemon debate. Hit the thumbs up if you had a nice watch and maybe leave a correct partners for each members of the crew. Or even tell me if you want to see me illustrate a whole team for the crew member. Hit the subscribe button so you can get the video on your feed. And hit the bell icon if you want YouTube to actually tell you when it's out. I'm cooking up even more clashing of worlds. So I'll be seeing you all sometime very soon.